Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2014 Thor Windsport 34E double slide Class A gas motorhome with a bath and a half floor plan. Go ahead and get started on the inside, and then I'll finish up by showing you the outside. Overall condition, I would definitely say good. Uh, the reason why I say good is because there is some oxidation on the driver's side and on the front cap. And I'll show that to you when we do the walk around the outside. Other than that, uh, it's pretty much in good shape. The owners did have a dog. Uh, I'll try to point out everything. If it's a concern to a uh, possible buyer, I do try to point it out. Give you an idea of the floor plan here before I get started. Okay, this is kind of a hybrid. It's a uh, cross between a Class A and a Class C. Uh, you've got the power bed lift up here. So you can sleep two over the cab. Uh, the, the power bed needs to be adjusted. I had a problem uh, bringing it back up. I had to assist it. So for the video, I uh, just kept it up. But uh, power lift, bed, and here's your key and your power button for putting it up and down. And you can lock it in the up position and you can store stuff away up there. It's kind of like a piggy bank or a safe. Anyway, it's a nice feature. I do want to point out it is rated at 500 pounds. Right there. And let's uh, show the cockpit in the end. Okay, this is the double slide coach. First slide out is going to accommodate the <clears throat> U shaped boot dinette and the height of bed sleeper sofa. And the fabrics are going to be the ultra leather or leatherette. And overall, the condition on the uh, fabrics, I would, I would say definitely great condition. There's really no sign of wear and tear. I'll show that off there. Uh, this table does break down, and you can make this into a big, pretty decent sized bed. Definitely sleep two grown adults easily on, on the boot dinette and on the hide a bed sleeper. I believe this is going to be. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an air mattress. I'm, I'm one-handed again. I uh, can't really show that. But anyway, you get the idea. It comes out. High to bed sleeper sofa. Definitely enough to sleep two grown adults. And again, the fabrics are all ultra leather. Color is going to be a tan or a cream color. And again, all the fabrics pretty much in definitely great condition. All right. Closing the first slide out is your kitchen. You have the solid surface Corian style countertops, not the Formica or the laminate tops. So this is definitely a higher end feature. The Class A gas motorhome. Well, it's counter space, double bowl sink, and it is recessed up underneath the counter, so easy to clean, cleaner look your cabinets. I think they're going to be maybe a cherry finish. I forgot to check on that. Uh, and your hardware and maybe like a like a bronze finish on your hardware. Back up there kind of show cabinets here. Lots of cabinets. Uh, you want to point out full extension metal ball bearing drawer guides. Not the cheapy guides. Okay, up top here you do have the uh, yep, microwave oven. And it's a pretty decent size microwave. Three burner gas cooktop with cover. Front one, front out uh, burner is going to be usually a high output. Looks like the owners have used it. This is a second owner coach. The owner, second owner has owned it for three years. The only reason why he's selling it is because they have not had a chance to really use it. They've only used it a few times to go down to Florida. Oven, or it might be a 22 inch uh, oven. One of the largest that they offer. The refrigerator, I believe it's gonna be a six cubic foot. Refrigerator by Norcold. Show off that Norcold badge right there. It's automatic, just turn it on, put it on auto. A Couple hours later, you are ready to go. You can actually adjust the settings, which is nice. It's not preset to one setting. Show off the refrigerator. Again, the coach has not been detailed, so I kind of put a rush job on this to get it on the market. I always do that, but you know, I like them when they're not detailed. It kind of shows 
to not hide anything. Okay, TV, entertainment center area here. It's going to be, I believe, about a 32-inch flat screen. More cabinet space. Oh, I do want to point out, that's the only area that I noticed that looks like one of their dogs or something clawed uh, at this bin. And they probably kept, eh, they may have kept dog treats or something in there. But anyway, it's an issue. A little touch-up marker. You should be able to cover that up pretty good. Um, and I do want to point out also, if you're worried about dog hair and all that, uh, this coach is pretty easy to clean out. All your high traffic area, everything is all that a residential style uh, vinyl flooring. And all your vinyl flooring is in great, excellent condition, pretty much. Uh, your AC units are going to be dual 13,500B AC units. Let's back up here, show off the front one here. Uh, they're dual 13,500 BTU AC units with quick dump. Quick dump is right here. Open up the louvers all around, does a quick dump, cools it off real quick. Once it's cooled off, close the louvers and you have ducted AC all throughout the coach. There's one of your duct work right there. You can move them around, which is cool. You got the idea. LED lights, saves you on your battery. Start walking back here. Uh, this looks like the full wall slide out floor plan, but uh, the way they designed it, it does look like it, but it's a double slide, so real open floor plan. Huge closets. They're loaded down. I don't really want to open them up and let's go ahead and open them up. Full adjusting cabinets. And you might be washer and dryer prepped in here. Eh, I forgot to point that out or check on it. Sorry about that. Another closet here. Yeah, I don't have to look it down too bad. And again, full adjusting cabinets. I do check the coaches that I do walk arounds on for water damage. Did not find any issues inside or out on this coach. Here's your first bath. It's going to be a half bath. Uh, toilet, foot flush porcelain toilet. I believe the black tank or the toilet tank on the front toilet here in the living room area is going to be a 43 gallon uh, black tank or toilet tank. Nice mint fan, get the stuff smells out. Uh, nice, beautiful uh, medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. Okay. Oh, and you do have my storage uh, but the toilet or commode. Walking into the master bedroom, queen bed. This is a pretty plush uh, queen bed, very comfortable. Not a cheapy mattress, definitely. Uh, this is going to be your second slide out, come to the queen bed. That slides out about two foot. Uh, and I did want to point out the slide out in the living room. It is a super slide, and it is about 10, uh, maybe even 12 foot long, and it's about uh, two, two foot, two and a half foot deep. There's your pad, your full back in the master bedroom. I'll show that here in a second. Back up here. Show off your wardrobe area here. There's me, and there's going to be uh, your second TV. And second TV in the bedroom. You've got storage back behind it, which is a cool concept. And you do have 110 outlets all over this coach. One, one outlet there, and one right there on each side of the bed, which is nice. For sleep at machine. I do want to also point out you do have solid wood pocket doors. Uh, gosh, well, I'm going into the master bedroom or bath here. In the rear, this is the very rear of the coach. And glass enclosed shower, kind of an accordion style shower door, which is nice. Beautiful layout, beautiful floor plan, nice skylight, residential style shower head. And again, medicine cabinet, we got a light bulb out right there. A vent fan and more storage and your commode back here. The toilet is foot flush porcelain or china toilet, and I believe it's going to be a 32 gallon uh, toilet tank back here. More than enough holding capacity to last a uh, last a long while. Give you an idea of the floor plan here from the very rear, looking towards the front, and again another solid pocket door for privacy from the living the bedroom area to the living room area. Speed up the video here. Oh, there's your second AC unit. And your furnace on this is going to be a 40,000, I'm um, sorry, uh, 34,000 BTU. Uh, 
furnace on this coach more than enough for this camper. This coach. Uh, oh, fantastic fin fan. Got to point those out. Really nice. Gets all the moisture and stuff. It smells out. Walking up into the cockpit area here. Obviously, they're uh, swiveling chairs, uh, pilot co pilot seat. They are the ultra leather fabric. They're in excellent condition, showroom condition, I would say. They do obviously swivel around to the front, and let's uh, go ahead and swivel the pilot seat around. All right, there's your trike uh, Ford badge right there on the steering wheel. Uh, smart, it's the cruise control. Let's start off on the very left. Uh, power heated mirrors and the uh, side mirrors do have a side integrated camera package so when you turn your turn signal on it will activate and show on your uh, stereo here which I'll get to in a second. Uh, four point auto leveling, push like two buttons I believe and you're pretty much ready to go. Um, these are going to be your fog lights, I've got those on. Let's go ahead and turn those off. Headlights. Emergency start ties your house battery and your chassis battery together in case you get stuck somewhere with a dead chassis battery. You want to point out the mileage. Start this thing up. To show you there is no check engine light or anything. Mileage on this coach currently has 9,430 miles. And show all the gauges. Pretty much full gas tank. It's not moved up so that temperature gauges haven't been activated but anyway let's speed this up again uh, your stereo Bluetooth I believe it does all the good stuff and it does have the integrated camera package for the backup and the uh, two side integrated uh, side view camera on the uh, side mirrors uh, it's gonna be your generator start button that's lit up right there uh, cab light overhead cab light that's for obviously the cab area here and your fans when the engines on these fans driver and passenger fans which are up there in the top left and right corner they will activate when the engines run it you do have a computer desk here I forgot to put that out uh, 110 outlet right there and you do have 12 volt right there so you can have to play around smart devices charge them do whatever I do want to also point out a little doggy window or safety window right there and you can put a table here a uh, little conversation a little, little coffee table there or to eat at uh, I don't know where it is I didn't check it out okay it's gonna be your monitor control panel here monitor control uh, your central command basically your extend for the slide out in the living room uh, there's a button in the bedroom for the slide out also I forgot to point that out these are, this is your black tank. You do have tank heaters, so all your holding tanks are all protected, so you can go into a little bit colder weather. Uh, black tank, I remember I told you the, how many gallons they were. The gray tank, I believe, is going to be a 44 gallon uh, gray tank, which is a sink and shower water water pump, obviously, to figure out. Uh, water heater, it's going to be a six gallon gas electric direct spark ignition water heater. Uh, flip switch on, you're ready to go. 15 minutes later, LP tank is 88 pound. LP tank battery, fully charged, fresh water. I believe it's going to be a 50 gallon fresh water. These are your black your toilet. And you've got hours on the Jenny, 1,944 hours on the Jenny. Uh, let's take this key out, lock it, and let us turn off the generator. So I'm not yelling when we're outside. This is going to be your buttons for your. Uh, your Disconnect, which saves you on your battery when you're not in using the coach, uh, and the awning button in and out, and step button. All right, uh, passenger side is pretty much in excellent condition. Uh, some of the decals are showing a little bit of sign of wear. Chrome heated side mirrors with integrated cameras. Show that off right there. There's your Triton V10 Ford badge right there. Your tires are all in good condition, 19.5 tires. Your awning is going to be a 19 foot power awning. Fully adjusting, there's the knob to adjust it. Show off the wind sport badge there. You have tinted windows, I believe 80% tint. It's going to be HD Max fiberglass finish. Looks like a full body paint coach, but it's not. Colors bled all the way through. There's going to be your 32 inch flat screen. This coach has three uh, TVs. 
pretty much fully loaded. These are going to be your pass-through storage. I'm not going to show you on the other side because I'm trying to speed up my videos a little bit more. Uh, pass-through storage here in, in this compartment here and they go all the way through the rotocast and there is a light in every compartment. They slam latch doors. It's going to be your propane tank, 88 pound. It's going to be your furnace exhaust, 34,000 BTU. And let's back up here. Kind of show off. You do have the full awning package on this coach. I slide out awnings. See that color? Looks like full body paint coach, but it's not. Um, definitely something they should have done a long time ago. This does have front and rear fiberglass caps. Really nice, clean look. LED lights. Ladder to get up on your full walk on roof. Uh, it's a 5,000 pound towing capability on the rear. This is sitting on the F53 chassis. 80 gallon fuel cell on this coach. Gasoline fuel cell back up here. I do want to show some of the oxidation. I don't know if I can get it. It's a little bit hazy today, but uh, it just needs a good wax job. That's, that's what I think. But uh, it's going to be 15 amp service hookup. Your TV hookup there for cable and all that good stuff. This is some of your dumps stations here your water hookups outside shower and fuel hook fuel fill right there the steel wheel simulators on the 19.5 good years and there's going to be about probably your bathroom toilet uh dump valve right there again all your tanks are all heated your generator i can't reach it up underneath it's going to be a 55 ah, let's go ahead 5500 onion Cummins gasoline generator and that's going to be your pass-through storage there pass-through storage there and let's focus a little bit you do have a little crackling on the driver's side there some of the decals are showing signs of wear I'm guessing it's just because the weather has really hit it more on this side than the other I do want to point out also real easy fix this little strip of vinyl just needs to be replaced. Easy. Cheap, easy fix. I'll back up here. Okay. I know I didn't get everything. This coach is, it's got a lot of good stuff on it. Just needs a good detail job. Let me show off that front end too. Show it. It's got a little, the owner said they're going to try to get it buffed up. But anyway, if you like the video, I appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. And if you want to come and see the camper or coach, call the number on the ad. Thank you.